Winds from Tropical Storm Florence are now being felt in Florence, South Carolina. I'm Ben Becker. I'm Tanika Hughes. We're joined by Action News Jack's John Bachman. He's in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Before he goes live, we're going to get you caught up on the very latest. Four people confirmed dead tonight in North Carolina. In the city of New Bern, hundreds have been rescued by first responders. Right now, nearly 700,000 people are without power in North Carolina alone. Action News Jack's team coverage on Tropical Storm Florence from two states tonight. Now we're going to head back to John Bachman live there in North Myrtle Beach. John, you've been starting to see some flooding, but you guys are navigating it in the first alert storm tracker. Tanika, we are on South Ocean Boulevard in North Myrtle Beach, and I want to show you, we've been here for about an hour and a half now, and we've watched the water come up on the street here uh, a little bit. Still manageable depth for the first alert storm tracker because we have high clearance and we have, uh, you know, the, the snorkel exhaust. Uh, and you can see uh, that most of the homes were built for this kind of thing. However, not all of them are. If you look to the right, that is a, uh, a ground level structure as the water is creeping up to the brick there. They've got sandbags, but we're about a foot and a half away from uh, entering that building. We were on the beach about a uh, half hour ago, and I can tell you that the the dunes are holding. So all of the water that you see right now is rainwater. It's not a storm surge. That's the amazing thing. We're supposed to get 20 to 40 inches as the storm moves through, and we are getting a lot of rain. It's actually let up just a little bit right now, but as you know, with these storms, you can get waves and waves. And now as we drive, I wanted to show this to you too, because we just went a block off of Ocean Boulevard, and it is not as bad. In fact, it's, I won't say it's dry, but it's not as flooded, at least on the road. But if you look to the right, a lot of water creeping in, some trees down. And again, some of these homes built on stilts are built to withstand this, but there are some that are not, and they are getting dangerously close to being flooded out. We're going to stay here in North Myrtle Beach to watch as the water continues to rise and the rain continues to fall. We'll be live at 630, so we'll see you then.